Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Massive scandal is erupting before our eyes, and MSM won't touch it. Democrats are up to their digital ears in cyber scandals after a massive scandal was just revealed by independent news sources. It seems like the big mainstream media may not want to cover this, particularly if it incriminates any of the Democrats they seem to be supporting instead of staying neutral and providing information to the public. A secret memo has been discovered and it surely isn't much of a secret anymore, especially if you share this story on Facebook. And it looks like there was a whole smorgasbord of IT security violations going on. The Daily Caller News Foundation broke the story and numerous outlets picked it up. Of course, most of them were independent sources much like this one. The story dives a bit deeper into the scandal on their site, but we grabbed an excerpt for you to sample a taste of the violations and see what it's like to take a sip of the secret memo tea. I bet it tastes a lot better than the liberal Kool-Aid that people keep drinking. If this doesn't open your eyes to some of the dirt going on under the fingernails of the government, then I'm not sure what will. As reported by DCNF. A secret memo marked urgent detailed how the House Democratic Caucus's server went missing soon after it became evidence in a cybersecurity probe. The secret memo also said more than 40 House offices may have been victims of IT security violations. In the memo, Congress's top law enforcement official, Sergeant at Arms Paul Irving, along with Chief Administrative Officer Phil Kiko, wrote, We have concluded that the employees, Democratic Systems Administrator Imran Awan and his family, are an ongoing and serious risk to the House of Representatives, possibly threatening the integrity of our information systems and thereby members' capacity to serve constituents. The memo, addressed to the Committee on House Administration CHA, and dated February 3, 2017, was recently reviewed and transcribed by the Daily Caller News Foundation. The letter bolsters the DCNF's previous reporting about the missing server and evidence of fraud on Capitol Hill. It details how the caucus server run by then-Caucus Chairman Rep. Xavier Becerra, was secretly copied by authorities after the House Inspector General, IG, identified suspicious activity on it, but the one's physical access was not blocked. But after, the report reads, the server appears to have been secretly replaced with one that looked similar. The memo called for firing the Pakistani-born aides, revoking all their computer accounts, and changing the locks on any door they had access to. Rep. Louis Gomert a Texas Republican on the House Committee on the Judiciary who has done oversight work on the case, said the missing server contained copies of Congress members' emails. They put 40 members of Congress's data on one server, that server, with that serial number, has disappeared, he said. Multiple sources connected to the investigation told the DCNF that shortly after an IG report came out identifying the House Democratic Caucus server as key evidence in a criminal probe, the evidence was stolen. They, the Iwans, deliberately turned over a fake server to falsify evidence, one official close to the CHA alleged. It was a breach. The data was completely out of, members, possession. President Donald Trump referenced the Democratic Caucus missing server in a tweet. But because the letter to the CHA was kept secret, many news outlets have not grasped that the House's top cop documented a missing server connected to the Democratic Caucus. The timeline laid out in the letter also shows that Becerra, now California's Democratic Attorney General, failed to ensure that the Awans didn't have access to House computer systems during the 2016 election, which was wrought with cybersecurity scandals. An IG presentation from September 2016 shows that Becerra knew of problems months before the server disappeared. The caucus chief of staff requested one of the shared employees to not provide IT services or access their computers, it read. This shared employee continued. It's unclear why that request was not granted or why it was a request rather than an order. You may as well pull up a nice comfortable chair or lay in bed on your smart device to read the rest of it. This is taking us deeper down the rabbit hole only to find out that there sure are a lot of shady Democrats taking taxpayer money to pay for their job in the government, only to be involved in nonsense like this. We get it. Everyone wants to win and retain their easy soft cushion job in the government, but could they at least get something done? Why do we have to deal with this? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.